What is up guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you something that I have been working on for quite a while now. It has been about 12, 15 hours or so and a couple of people when I streamed a while back on twitch.tv slash Gaming. Go there if you would like to watch me live stream but I'll have a link to that in the description below. But other than that, a couple of people were like, man, your UI is completely all over the place, and can you shorten it, can you fix it so that way it doesn't confuse me? And I took that, and I basically said, oh hey look, maybe it is a little confusing, maybe I do need to split some things up a little bit. So, let's go ahead and open the UI. Now you'll notice it is extremely clean compared to the other one. We are actually, if I were to scroll this all the way out to where my character was in the last video, we'll notice that the middle of my screen is no longer cluttered with crap. The weak auras have been shrunk. I am using LUI now instead of LVI and so big shout out over there this this UI is so sleek like it's very clean it's simple to set up there is a couple of things I would recommend switching out but other than that you can download that at WoW interface very very useful so if we go ahead and click our escape and click add-ons here Let's get right into it. So, advanced interface options. That is a UI enhancer. Basically brings back a lot of the things Blizzard has taken out in Legion. Like their floating combat text, if you're used to that. I installed Auctioneer for one purpose, and one purpose alone. And that was this sidebar here but I'm trying to figure out how to get this sidebar to kill all those. So that way I can have a very clean minimap. The objective of right now was to try and get the cleanest minimap possible, and I've heard the sidebar can do that, I just haven't figured out how to do that yet. But other than that, that's the only reason I installed Auctioneer. Bartender 4, so that is what you've noticed it used to be all over the bottom of my screen and then i shortened it to two sides and now it's just down there by itself so if we type slash bt we'll notice that everything is right down here very very equal nowhere near the middle of my screen because I wanted to use weak auras to comprehend the middle of my screen. Come back over here. Bug Grabber is part of Auctioneer. Bug Sack is also part of Auctioneer, just makes it so that way. It shows you what bugs you're missing over here instead of bringing massive Lua errors in the middle of your screen. Can I mog it? So this was in my last UI. The only difference is in Can I Mog It is if you hover over an item that is equipable, you'll see in the lower right hand corner it says Learn. That's part of Can I Mog It. And I don't have anything on me currently that's not learnable, but if we go to not Dungeon Finder, Encounter Journal. Come over to Raids. Go over to Emerald Nightmare. I come over to Loot. The first thing I hover over, that's going to be right there. So, according to this, I can learn this because it says not learned. Now, if you can't learn it because it's a different specialization, say it's male and you're on a plate tube, it'll tell you that you need to be on a mail tune in order to equip this to put it in your appearance tab. Deja character stats. So if we click C here, we'll notice that that's completely rearranged. 
very, very great add-on. I love this add-on, Pieces. It helps you with everything. I had to reset it up because it had crashed a while ago, but it is very customizable. And they also add a scroll bar over here. If you come over and click scroll bar, hit OK. You can scroll it back and forth like that right over here. You can also do it with your mouse wheel. Details. So the add-on that comes with the damage meter of LUI is recount. For a lot of people, recount is going to memory hog your screen and wow to the point where it will eventually start crashing your game and sometimes your computer. This happened with me a while ago. I switched over to SCADA and I recently found details. If a lot of your people in your guild start using details, it starts becoming extremely accurate. Not only does this add-on tell you everything that SCADA does, it also helps you with track how you die. It helps you keep track of how long your uptime on certain spells are. It's extremely helpful. And if you're a streamer, it also, if you have it set up, will show you what you've casted. In Tantrix, so this is a part of Auctioneer, but can be used without Auctioneer. If we hover over an piece of ore here down in the bottom of my screen where it says adamantite ore and it tells you what it can prospect into that's enchantrix garrison mission manager and master plan go coincide with each other it works with the order hall of legion two very very helpful add-ons click three buttons and missions are sent out on a breeze. Gathermate 2. So a lot of people are against using add-ons like Gathermate 2 and Routes. However, if you come over to your minimap, and I recently don't have anything on here because I haven't implemented it back through the database, and that's for another video, but basically what Gathermate 2 does is every ore, herb, fishing, anything in the game that you do that involves professions will light up on your minimap. So that way it tells you, oh, I've mined there, and you can go back to that one spot. Now, it doesn't tell you exactly that the node is spawned. It just says, oh, hey, I've mined here before, and at some point in time you can come back and see if there's another node there. gotta go fast so this is a brand new mythic plus cm timer that takes completely over the objective timer it tells you your plus two and plus three capabilities and it is really helpful because it is very sleek very simple to use we do slash ggf which has got to go fast it comes over and it, it it explains itself so if i come over and click demo mode tells you everything you need to know. It tells you what type of key it is, what level it is, how long you have on the specific keystone. Extremely useful. And it can also do that. You can just click undemo mode and it goes away. Green wall. So in the event of you being with two guilds, it does take a little bit of setup beforehand, but I run with two guilds, and we have the two guilds correlated in guild chat, and this is what Greenwald does. It takes two guild chats and combines it into one guild chat. GTFO, if you're standing in crap, it notifies you to get out. Type slash GTFO. Notice it says it over here. We can also go to interface, G 
GTFO. <laughs> does stuff like that. You can also have sounds played while you're muted. Very helpful. Informat. Part of the auctioneer stuff as well that you can disable. Useful in the tooltips, so Informat is also a part of the down below where I showed earlier. Instance portals. So if you're a person that does not like remembering where the instances are, this game's been out for 12 years and I know it's sometimes trivial to think, oh, I forget where this instance is, or was this instance on the north side or the south side of the Arcanial Crypts down in Shatrath? Well, if we open our minimap and click on Eastern Kingdoms, you notice all the portals to all of the instances in the game are here. So, like I said a second ago, if we wanted to come over here to Terracar Forest, it tells you which side each portal your instances on. It also tells you the level. It tells you if there's multiple and raids. Raids are dictated by the green symbol. LUI. That's the unit interface you're seeing in the background. It's all brown. Mask. I haven't figured out what mask exactly does. I just know it is a skinning add-on. It skins everything. Mixed scrolling battle text. This was in my last UI. It just basically shows it scrolls text on the side of your, of your screen instead of having it all bunched up up top. Mythic plus progress. So this one is brand new. It's still in a little bit of a beta phase, but basically what it does is it will highlight over the tooltip just to the right or left, dependent on where you set it up at, and give you the percentage of each mob. Tell you the percent needed of the mob. So it'll say like 1.8%, 3%, 5%, stuff like that. Nami cakes. So if you hate the fact that Nami's burning all of your food up, I have a little little tip to give you here. If we run over to Nami, and you click on him, Browse. Take your you notice time. he brings up a little bit Enjoy. different of a menu, and if we hover over each one of these items, he can tell you what you need to make. Now, I've noticed something a little cool in the recent updates. If you come over here, you Next only one, start me. May the mist protect you. One work order at a time. Please like so. browse my wares. So Jade Serpent guide. That one and that there one. Is no you hurry. are more likely to get the recipes out of them than if you were to make Looking say to all of those at the same time. Jade Serpent. You can also type slash I believe it's slash NC? No, slash Nami cakes. I Yep. And typing slash Nami Cakes shows you what recipes you can go get and where they're located. Omen 3. This is a threat meter. If you are a tank or if you are a DPS wondering why you're pulling aggro so much, this is a very good add-on for you to use. It's basically a threat meter that says, oh hey, I'm pulling way too much threat, I need to either back off or use tricks of the trade on a tank or misdirect or just slow down on my DPS. Which isn't really an issue nowadays, I mean, it, I mostly use it for tank swaps on threat, but that's about it. Pawn. So I used this in my last UI. It helps you with knowing what's best for your tune. We come over to this blue icon here. This is the pawn window that shows up. Has 
everything. This, these all come off a of WoW head, but you can make your own scales. That would be my recommendation, is making your own scales. Because... Making your own scales is useful. If we hover over an item in my bags, we can tell that this one has... trying to find one here that is visible for you guys. Okay, this one here. So we can tell that this one, if I were to equip it, has a 48,230. That is adding up all of the numbers that Pawn gives and throwing it in there on that chest piece. And then if we look at the item I got out of a missionary cache, legendary, Destiny Driver, we can see that it has a 62,828. So it basically uses the stats on the items to dictate what item is best for you. It has percentages, so if we were to come over to here, click compare, and I were to put this in here, and this over here, can see the percentages of each item and you can automatically tell that this is an upgrade by 30 percent personal loot helper so if you get a a lot of people are mad about this add-on i personally like this add-on because it's useful in raids it's useful in dungeons a lot of people i run with when i'm tanking are like Turn your add-on off, I don't want other people to have my loot. Well, maybe I do. So, you can use this add-on in various different ways, typing slash PLH. So, they just recently added a notify group or notify self. Just uncheck that if you want to notify yourself, and it will bring up a little chat window to yourself. But, I leave it on. And you can coordinate the group roles if you're the group leader but I usually just turn those on and it basically says oh hey this items this or this item this that's all it says and it's upgradable for that person postal mail add-on we walk over to a mailbox and I click mail. These three buttons appear. It's just open all, return. I use TSM for mailing. Routes. Useful with gather mate or gather gatherer or gather mate too. It just puts a route on your mini map that gives you the best farm. Slam and awe and taunt master. So, this right here is something new to my UI. They are really helpful with tanking. So you click on this by left or right clicking and it will automatically taunt the mob or intercept to a person because the way macros work nowadays, I haven't found a way to get intercept into a macro. So this add-on helps with that. It also gives a session up time for warriors. This is a warrior specific add-on for ignore pain and shield block. The higher uptime you have on those, the better tank you are. Sidebar, stubby, and swatter are all part of auctioneer. This is sidebar and stubby and swatter or something I don't use. Tidy plates. This one's a little tricky. So if we go to our Warlords of Draenor garrison. A lot of people are saying tidy plates are currently broken. Um, those people are wrong. You just have to set it up properly. Tidy plates is a very customizable unit frame add-on. And unit frames not on the character themselves. But, 
if we go over to the training dummy in our garrison, these unit frames, the name plates, those are so helpful. You can run up there, charge into it, it automatically decides to do things for itself. Slash TP brings up tidy plates. You can make it do a lot of things for you. Weak Auras 2, I'm still using this. I do not want to use Tell Me When at all. Weak Auras 2 is what I use to track everything in the middle here. Type slash WA. It just keeps track of everything. You can keep track of auras, debuffs, buffs, anything on your tune, anything on players. Really powerful. But with great power comes great responsibility. So use wisely. World Quest Tracker. So this add-on goes on your map, not on the mini-map. But if you click on the Broken Isles and you have it open just to this screen, it brings up every zone and it shows you what you can do. If you click on one of these down here, you will notice artifact, resources, gold. You can track who has what party-wise. So if I were to click on this, it instantly tracks every world quest that I wanted to track. Go back out to the map, and if you come back out here and click that again, that was supposed to untrack it, but you can come up here and left click each one of those. And if we come back out to the map, you'll notice that it's untracked. I just find it very useful because you can click on one of those, go into the zone, do that world quest. The other cool thing about those is the bluer ones are ones after your artifact knowledge and the white or grayish looking ones are before the artifact knowledge is complete. And Trade School Master and DBM. Trade School Master, I have just learned how to set up. This add-on is so powerful, I'm not even going to begin to describe how powerful this is. Use it if you can figure it out, because I've had the auction house for two days, and well, I've had this out on for maybe 12 hours, and I've already gained 14,000 gold with it. Easiest add-on in the world to configure. When you get it, keep it. DBM raid add-on. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter at. Levixian Gaming and Twitch at twitch.tv slash Levixian Gaming. And have fun.